Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC as we return to another edition of CAC React to weird YouTube things because we're going back to Mr. Manticore and the Monument Mythos. So last video I did on this was a big long catch up because I unfortunately missed most of it. I think I have a good idea of what's going on so far in the fact that the angel in the far future after the end of the Deanverse exploded and sent his particles back in time which has affected the causality of the Deanverse and things have now changed course so uh, we've got a couple of videos to watch it's not going to be as long as last time it's going to be shorter hopefully so we're going to start off uh, with Clift Chaos so uh, yeah let's see what's uh, going on because I believe Clift has been elected president now instead of uh, James Dean so let's see how things work Oh, great start. Following the disappearance of James Dean, the National Park Service suspended all ferry services to Liberty Island, and over the next 48 hours, a massive okay. platform was constructed at the base of the Statue of Liberty. Right. Due to the National Park Service's unwillingness to disclose the purpose of the platform, so is the horned serpent still in Washington there? Washington politicians to discuss its costs. News of the mysterious structure's appearance quickly spread across the country. Okay. What was the platform? Why was it built so close to the Statue of so Liberty? It's been censored. All these and more were questions frequently asked in American neighborhoods and newspapers. Famous writers like Charles Beaumont and Rod Serling wrote their theories in exciting opinion pieces, while scientists like Hugh Everett and J. Robert Oppenheimer illustrated oh, Oppenheimer. the populations and Is it the other Oppenheimer? Or? <laughs> but <laughs> make America a better place, leave the country. Like were equally in the dark. Nobody knew that there was a massive platform on Liberty Island. It's getting bigger. Shortly after the cement of the platform had visibly oh God. dried, it's going surrounded actually the structure up. with robust titanium fencing. Oh, maybe not. Inside hmm. of which, thousands of chairs were installed, each bolted deep into the photographs of the chairs oh. on Liberty Island were quickly printed on front pages around the country. Photographs of the platform's various angles were televised after news broadcasts to give audience members time to scrutinize over visual details. So of these hastily edited slideshows were looped for an additional 15 minutes to allow family units... So it's been censored for us, the but not for them. They were seeing it. The broadcasts, though strange and unprecedented, were well received for uniting families in the evenings. On the third morning after the platform's completion, workers were seen lining the entire island with large explosives. Oh! Every acre of land around the Statue of Liberty and the platform's metal fences was covered in an intricate web of electrical wires wrapped around bundles of dynamite. So are they trying to blow it up? Greatly concerned New Yorkers. Due to unsubstantiated rumors of an impending atomic bomb test on Liberty Island, roadways became violently congested with traffic and airports were suddenly packed with newly registered passengers. Many civilians wanted to leave the East Coast in order to avoid any potential shockwaves produced by the So Liberty it is Island a little bit similar to Dean Disaster. While law enforcement and regional government officials urged the public to remain calm and at home, no concrete reasoning was ever provided. <laughs> Ambiguous explanations from many mayors and governors only worsened the widespread anxieties. Numbers of missing children dramatically increased in the afternoon hmm. as groups of siblings refused to stay put with parents at home and decided instead to seek shelter out west. Huh. Cats, dogs, and other domestic animals ran freely through city streets released by their owners in an attempt to spare their lives. Why have you edited their eyes like that? And snake attacks became common in all major cities. In New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Miami, curfews were set at were dispatched to collect loose pets. One in every five servicemen sustained Why do you keep trailing off? Animals. Even the incumbent president was attacked by a dog which had passed through the White House fence. <laughs> rushed to the Walt Disney Hospital to treat injuries. Of course. And remained indoors for the rest of the day. Yeah. In See, it's very evening, similar. Requested a full explanation be to Dean Disaster, but not quite. The Park Service on live television. <coughs> there would be no response. And an hour later, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, the explosives on Liberty Island detonated. Mm. The resulting shockwave caused the Statue of Liberty to visibly totter. 
fires erupted on all trees in the area. <laughs> Since the fencing and chairs were bolted into the ground, the platform remained completely unscathed. However, the surrounding inferno released massive clouds of ash into the sky. Passing ships and aircrafts recorded the hellish scene on film. Ferry services were reopened by the National Park Service to allow firefighters access to the flames. But by 7 p.m., all plant life had been decimated, and the Statue of Liberty had become even more oxidized from being exposed to high temperatures. A nuclear attack on Liberty? Construction gone wrong? Headlines provided no more clarification than the next door neighbor. Firefighters extinguished the fires by 9 p.m. and reported no American fatalities. At midnight, cameras captured the activation of a spotlight on the Liberty platform. Okay. The bright white circle of light remained unoccupied for several minutes. It's fading out again. After Cliff spoke, James Dean, alive and well, joined. Huh? <laughs> Disappointment is vast. I oh, say to save a goddamn teenager from being murdered by the vice president. So Cothan or Day seems to be this sort of reality Beef bender almost. But Master still in power. Hmm. Yeah. You still see me as a monster. Why don't you look in the mirror sometime? So who is Cothan or Day then? If I continue to exist, I will continue to be disappointed. And why does he have so much influence over the timeline? You will continue to be a disappointment. <laughs> How about we make a simple deal, you fools? I will leave your universe when I see an act of true kindness. That would take a goddamn miracle. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is going on? Oh! Dear Dad, it's been almost two years. I wish I could show you the new episodes. Aww. I think you would have liked them, Alex. Oh. Okay, so yeah, um I don't know why any of that happened. Why did they do that? What is going on? But yeah, an interesting sort of like corrective universe version of Dean Disaster, I guess, but this time it's Clift Chaos, even though Clift did very little in the whole thing. Well, that was a nice little tribute at the end there, anyway. Very sweet from you, Alex. Also, I thought there were, there were a few little nods to the Trinity Desk project in there as well, with, like, chairs bolted down uh, and sort of, like, an atomic bomb going off even though it wasn't a literal atomic bomb it's just a few little like nods with Oppenheimer as well I even said oh is that the other Oppenheimer but um yeah interesting hmm. and I am interested to see where things go with like Cothanaut A um because I'm pretty sure Alex at some point said that he regrets making Cothanaut A like the self insert so he's not strictly speaking Alex himself but I guess an author avatar almost but mm, yeah we'll, we'll 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 see where it goes but let's go for the next one this next one even the title sounds very sad it's Arnoldson alone oh following wood engravings were found in Babylon forest Everett's story will be narrated by an individual with AWS uh, that's American Wonderland syndrome right Ooh. So that's little baby Everett. It's so 
sad really when you think about it. Is that the young Virginia then, when she was still a little girl? Because she said she found a man named Everett. Because you've got to remember, t uh, Wonderland is all timey-wimey. She disappeared. Oh. Oh. this when he was returned to Washington? Oh, that sounds horrifying. Oh, the serpent. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's very sweet. I think like, he's a monster, has become a monster, but it's still... Still really sweet. Oh, the music! Oh. That one's really nice. Everett Arnoldson as himself. <laughs> That's actually almost got me tearing up. It's actually really sweet to think about because, you know, it was just a baby that grew up. I was born in hell, he says. And this, the, ev everything in this was a really good job. The voiceover was really, really good. It was very distorted and otherworldly, but it's still at its core human. And the pictures always like the drawings and the pictures of like Wonderland or the Metastructure or whatever we want to call it always look so desolate and hostile and otherworldly but after all that even as like a depiction of being a, a horrible stretched out sort of like distorted monster it still has a human heart and wants to help people and I remember right back at the very uh, the very end of the the Washington 
Um, I don't think it was the original Washington wormhole. Yeah, it said the 20th um, Washington absentee has been identified. And then it was later, much later, revealed to be Everett. Um, at the end of uh, Virginia's story. I forget what that video was called. Um, when it said in the description that Everett has been seen as a humanoid creature wandering the forests of the Washington Zone. So I guess that's what's happening here. That was him emerging into the forests of Washington. Um, so yeah, um, and a really nice sweet sentiment and sort of like the music at the end being a remix of um, like Virginia's theme. I forget what that song is called, but it's like Virginia's uh, signature song, I guess. And yeah, that's just really, really sweet. You know, after all the horror and the terrible things and the suffering and torment he's been through, such a such a sweet, uplifting note to finish on. So, yeah, that's really nice. Um, it looks like the conclusion is coming soon then, so I don't know if there's only going to be one more episode left or maybe two, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I think the next reaction then I'll wait until it actually finishes to do like a full reaction on, but otherwise... Really good stuff. Yeah, I actually feel really good watching that. It was oddly uplifting, despite its very somber, sort of bittersweet tone. But that'll do me for now. So, thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. Also, let me know if there are any other videos you'd like me to watch and react to, any challenges you'd like me to do, any taste tests you'd like my opinion on, any games you'd like me to play, or if you just want to ask a question or say hello, then let me know down below. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So until next time, thank you for joining me, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.